Narrabo, Narrabo, Narrabo will. Who's he? No idea. I shall tell you who he is. It's one of those nasty little boatmen. It lives on a boat. How disgusting. On my last vlog, I said I was coming out of here, didn't I? And I was going down to... I'm not. I'm going to Ely. I forgot all about beautiful Ely. Wow. Let's go and see Ely. Come on. Then we're going to go down to Burwell. And then the Reach. And then Wick and Fen. That Reach. Oh, hey, stay tuned for that. Um, right. Let's go and see Ely. Oh, I forgot all about that. I think I'll do it a section at a time. So that section there... Squirties. I took attention to the stitching because it's going to rot in it if you don't. Right, it's that side covered, washed clean, covered. I've done the inside as well. I'll put the other side now. Right, I've sprayed it all now. That should last me a good few years. Beautiful. Last time, people were asking about swimmers. Well, you know, here you are. Stick this in your pipe and smoke it, Rippers. There's a lot of swimmers. Just looking down this water. It's so clear and clean. I love it. Go on, my darling. Swim for England. Swim like you've never swum before. I think you're laying eggs. This one's laying eggs on the boat, I think. She's laying eggs. Oh dear, on the boat. No. Well, I was at that mooring for three days actually. Good neighbours. Hide the boat and they loved it. On to, on to Ely. There's some big rud in this water. Some big rud. Two, three, three and a half pound rud. Wow, massive things. Cold this morning. I've got all my gear on. Headphones, hat. Let me show you. Headphones, wireless for the for YouTube. To watch all my vlogs. It says I'm going along. I don't watch any of my vlogs. I can't stand watching my vlogs. Um, some of them are funny. Other ones I just can't stand them. They're funny, isn't it? It's like a lot of actors can't watch their films. It's not like I'm not like, I'm, like an actor or anything, but. Anyway, I'm going to Ely, it's nippy, uh, and uh, I'm going to get some shopping because I'm desperate for stuff, you know, can you see me, it's a bit dark, I'm desperate for stuff, I've got no milk, I've got no biscuits, I've got no crisps, pss, 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 pss. that's it really, no, I need everything really, I've got no dinner, no nothing. Filthy thumbs up! <laughs> Ryan, top, what's your names? Nick and Polly. Thank you, Nick and Polly. See ya. Right, I've got to turn left. I've got to turn left at the end to Ely.
some more moorings down here as well look oh very nice probably a better signal here than i had <laughs> getting into uh healy now i cycled down here yesterday on top of that bridge and all the way down that road is litter all along the people just throw out the, the windows it's disgusting people are aren't they really are anyway under the very ornate bridge then onto the train bridge lovely and this bridge is ENT 1575 Queen Adele D bridge A D E L A I D E Adelaide <laughs> Adelaide speed <laughs> oh dear oh I wish I could learn to read late now at my age right let's crack on to Ely get some shopping uh, it's always a shame to see isn't it though perfectly good little cruiser gone to waste what a shame eh I mean, that could be just where the um, trains go to die or they go to rest. I'm not sure. I can see a sign saying welcome to Ely. So I imagine we're in Ely now. This is lovely. There's nice little moorings in there just on the left. What is this place? Wait a, wait a minute, where am I? What is this place? Can I get down there? Check on the map. I don't miss any any spots out, do I? That's uh, Roswell Pitts Nature Reserve. That is. Look, police there, look. Police catching speeders. Got a nice little moor in there. Ooh, it's tempting, isn't it? Tempting. Cracking little fishing spot. Look, wow, there, isn't it? Site, isn't it? Wow, what a beautiful building! Let's go and see that, won't we? Hey, right, pop into Ely, have a look. We're shopping first, and then uh, perhaps we've got time, it's not too busy. Go and look at that. It must have been a sight to behold when it was, uh, when it was first built. Can you imagine all the farmers and uh, people working the land seeing this thing go up? And you can see it from miles away, it's incredible, isn't it? You got diesel here? Is that diesel? These are a, a two day mooring, and they're free moorings, and you've got the uh, pump out here, and water, and rubbish as well. Very nice. Very vibrant little place. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm near that train line though, so it's like. <sighs> That's a very pretty VW, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, it's bloody chaos here. Really is. God, God it's packed solid down here. There's a pump out just here. There's boats more up at the pump out. There's a guy waiting here to go in here. There's people fishing and ignoring him. Crikey. It's like crazy town. There's boats coming in, boats going out. It's crazy town. Three abreast or something. There's boats coming up and down constantly. Tra trains going over, people walking past. Wow. And you come from that tranquil further up down to this insanity. But blame it, it's a very beautiful area, very beautiful. Very beautiful place. Ely, the home of narrow boating and boating alike. Both breeds mix. Plastic and steel come together. There's a big boat lift there, not more. 
fuel. Lots of people. Elia appears to be vibrant. With all manner of people mixed together. Tourists, locals alike. I've seen people come down with carrier bags full of bread and pizzas and all sorts for the birds, thinking they're doing them a favour. For like 20 years ago, bakery products are now abundant. But as a population, feeding more of this unhealthy food to the birds than ever before. Although people are well meaning by feeding the waterfowl with human food, it's harmful to them, you know? Stop feeding them bread! Maltings, what a cracking building. What a lovely area. Some lovely old buildings around here, isn't there? Hey. There's uh, Oliver Cromwell's house around here somewhere. Where is it? No, it's not down there. Let's That's go in the cathedral now. instead. Have a look in there, old Ripith. Impressive, isn't it? Look at these buildings. Crikey. Let's go inside Ripith and have a look. Very ancient town, some beautiful old buildings, very distinct. There are actually two towers at Ely Cathedral and they rise up to about 66 metres. The cathedral has its origins in AD 672, when St Etheldreda built an abbey church. The present building dates back to 1083, and it was granted cathedral status in 1109. That's my reading out posh voice. Look how tall the... Look at the arches and the, and the height of the ceilings and the beautiful workmanship. It's incredible, isn't it? It's still stood a thousand years later. And the workmanship of these doors and the beautiful. Yeah, they're not falling apart. Absolutely, they designed and built these buildings to last forever. Not just till next year, like our buildings, not 20 years. Forever. It's a ventilating company. Gurney's Patent. The London. Warmings. Wow, what on earth? I suppose you put your fire under there. All the fins get really hot and it eats, it radiates out. And there's, there's your chimney though. A bit like on your narrow boats. Is. It's a very impressive building, beautiful. You can go up there for an extra four quid and look at the stained glass. Its most notable feature is the central octagonal tower with the lantern above which provides a unique internal space and along with the west tower dominates the surrounding landscape. Ely Cathedral is a major tourist destination receiving around 250,000 visitors per year. Another impressive feature of Ely Cathedral is its stained glasswork 
reflected different colours of light into the space. The quality of the carvings and the workmanship and the design of the organ are impressive, to say the least. Taking a closer look, you can see the delicate carving and the workmanship that's involved. There must be thousands of hours of labour, all by daylight or candlelight. It's very impressive. Equally impressive is the stonework. Just making one mistake, you'd have to start again with a fresh block of stone. Over a thousand years ago, we were creating these delicate stained glass windows. It's very impressive. Carving. Oh, they've got inside and carved inside in one piece. Fly me. Bishop Hugh D. Northwold. Look at this carving look. The stonemasons carved this out of one piece of it feels like granite. It's so get it but if you get something wrong on the features, the whole thing is ruined. The skill of doing that is unbelievable. Oh they only had crappy tools, no they didn't. The top whack tools in those days. You try and recreate this today. Blimey. One slab of rock. This is a really bright section. Got dark and dismal in here. Look at the floors look. Cost a bloody fortune. Absolutely bespoke. Seventy-nine. All graffiti lot. Look at that one. RT. WS. Wow. The IL. Leaford or Leaford. Blimey. Man, that's a bloody door in here. scattered around the cathedral, making it a very interesting day out. Crikey, 180 quid, looks like the uh, Pioneer. That was the dogs in its day, wasn't it? That was the dogs. I had a stack system that was huge. 180 quid, let's go back up. Just got some jeans and a t-shirt from there. Mmm, have a look, shall we? Quite trendy, aren't they now? Look at that. Nice market, and they sell all kinds of bits and bobs, and you get a burger and a coffee. Put your feet up. I got back to my boat, and this was on the roof. Regards from the chair of the Hollingwood Canal Society. Ian Special Honey Slow Gin, Ian Davenport, 2021. Mm. And they gave me this Hollingwood Canal Society newsletter. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that for all the boaters. Hollingwood Locks. I'll take a look at that later. 
Oh, what a lovely surprise. Just come back from the charity shop. Oh no. I got a, uh, a cracking um, super dry, really thick uh, t shirt, but it's $8.99, you know. Oh, how can you afford $8.99? Because this will last me freaking 20 years, that thing, you know what I mean? A pair of jeans is precious. Can you tell why I've got some jeans? Can you tell why is this? How can I leave them? These were new. I've used them up. And these were. These are. Uh, Smith and Jones. And these are six ninety nine. They're brand new. Still got the. Still got the stickers on them. You know, the thingy stickers. Oh, anybody can stick them on. They're a size thirty four. If you need to know my waistline. Rippers. These are thirty four. Uh, they're not tight on the waist or anything like that because we'll stretch. But I, just, I always buy 34, 36 because you, you put weight on in the winter, you lose it in the summer, blah blah blah. So I always have 34s and 36s. Right, here we are. Filthy thumbs up. I've done the uh, cathedral 850. I bought that. Eight f I bought that. It's come to. I bought that, which has come to uh, 15 odd quid. I got shopping today, which was 44 quid. That's it now. That's it. Oh no, I've got to get diesel. I've got to get diesel and I've got to get a pump out, which is just here, which is free. Um, oh, crikey. It's all pay out, isn't it? I'm going to drink myself into a stupor. You mean you don't even drink? I don't pay for it. <laughs> no, I don't drink. I don't drink normally, but I'll, you know, I'll sup that. T shirt, it's supposed to be extra, extra large. I can barely get in this thing. I'm only, I'm only, I'm only 12 stone. These jeans, these jeans are a little bit tight, sis. They fit all right, eh? Hey, hey, here we go. T-shirt and, t-shirt and jeans is precious.